John Henry Bonham was born on 31 May 1948 in Redditch, Worcestershire, England to Joan and Jack Bonham. He began learning to play drums at age five, making a kit of containers and coffee tins, imitating his idols Max Roach, Gene Krupa and Buddy Rich. His mother gave him a snare drum when he was 10. He received his first drum kit a premier percussion set from his father at age 15. Bonham never took formal drum lessons, although he received advice from other Redditch drummers. While at school between 1962 and 1963 Bonham joined the Blue Star Trio and Jerry Levine and the Avengers. Bonham attended Lodge Farm Secondary Modern School, where his headmaster wrote in his report that he would either end up a dustman or a millionaire. After leaving school in 1964 he worked for his father as an apprentice carpenter between drumming for local bands. In 1964 Bonham joined his first semi-professional band Terry Webb and the Spiders and met his future wife Pat Phillips around the same time. He played in other Birmingham bands such as the Nicky James Movement and the Senators, with whom he made a single She's a Mod in 1964, at Hollick and Taylor Studios in Birmingham. Bonham took up drumming full-time, two years later he joined A Way of Life, after the band's demise Bonham joined a blues group called Crawling King Snakes, whose lead singer was Robert Plant. In 1967, Bonham agreed to return to A Way of Life while keeping in touch with Plant. Plant formed Band of Joy and chose Bonham as the drummer. The band recorded demos but no album. In 1968 American singer Tim Rose toured Britain and asked Band of Joy to open his concerts. When Rose returned months later Bonham joined Rose's band. In short he asked Chris Dredge into the new outfit and wanted Terry Reid as lead singer. But Reid declined the offer instead recommending Robert Plant, who accepted Page's offer. At around this time Dredge who'd been with the band since 1963, decided he didn't want to continue as a working musician, preferring instead to pursue a career in photography in his place, Page recruited veteran fellow session musician John Paul Jones. That left the drummer's spot to be filled Page had thought of several well-known musicians as possible drummers for the band including B.J. Wilson of Procol Harum, veteran session man Clem Catini and Ainsley Dunbar, but Plant urged him to look at Bonham. The guitarist along with band manager Peter Grant attended a Tim Rose performance at Hampstead, liked what they heard and offered Bonham the spot. Bonham actually hesitated to accept at first page and Grant weren't offering as much money to start with as a lot of other outfits interested in his services, but he did finally come around and join. Too. The quartet was in place by September of 1968 and following their tour under the new Yardbirds name, they took up their chosen new name Led Zeppelin and work began on a new album with a new repertory under a contract signed with Atlantic Records. The self-titled Led Zeppelin album released in January of 1969, showed how everything about the group was notched up. The intensity of Plant's singing, the range and volume of Page's playing and the depth and power of Jones and Bonham's rhythm section. Actually a good deal of what they did was not new Jeff Beck Page's predecessor in the Yardbirds, had pioneered a similar sound earlier on a series of singles in 1967 and the Truth album in the summer of 1968, but Page and company focused it with laser-like precision. Moreover whereas Beck's band as represented on Truth, had been something of a work in progress with the work of four different drummers represented, Led Zeppelin arrived fully formed and that went double in the drumming department. Not that there wasn't room for growth and advancement Bonham's playing was as loud and forceful as ever when they started, but he took another step up following Led Zeppelin's first tour of the United States on which they opened for Vanilla Fudge their drummer Carmen Apice, turned Bonham onto Ludwig drums which became his instruments of choice for the rest of his life. In 1969, Bonham appeared on The Family Dog's A Way of Life with Page and Led Zeppelin bassist John Paul Jones. Bonham also played for Screaming Lord Such on Lord Such and Heavy Friends in 1970. He played on Lulu's 1971 single Everybody Clap, written by Maurice Gibb and Billy Laurie. In 1972, he played on a Maurice Gibb-produced album by Jimmy Stevens called Don't Freak Me Out in the UK and Paid My Dues in the US credited as Gemini. 
He drummed for his Birmingham friend Roy Wood. On Keep Your Hands on the Wheel, a single subsequently released on his 1979 album On the Road Again and on Wings' album Back to the Egg on the track's Rockestra theme and So Glad to See You Here. He was also featured on Paul McCartney and Wings' Beware My Love demo version, first recorded in 1975. It remained unreleased until 2014 with the release of the album Wings at the Speed of Sound box set. Bonham was the best man of Black Sabbath's Tony Iommi at his wedding ceremony. In 1974, Bonham appeared in the film Son of Dracula, playing drums in Countdown's band. Bonham appeared in a drum lineup including Keith Moon and Ringo Starr on the soundtrack album. On 24 September 1980 Bonham was picked up by Led Zeppelin assistant Rex King to attend rehearsals at Bray Studios for a tour of North America. To begin 17 October in Montreal it was the band's first tour since 1977. During the journey Bonham asked to stop for breakfast, where he drank four quadruple vodka screwdrivers. He then continued to drink heavily after arriving at rehearsals. The band stopped rehearsing late in the evening and then went to Page's house, the old mill house in Cluer, Windsor. After midnight on 25 September Bonham fell asleep, someone took him to bed and placed him on his side. Led Zeppelin tour manager Benji Lefebvre and Jones found him unresponsive the next afternoon. Bonham was later pronounced dead at 32 years old. The inquest on 27 October 1980 showed that in 24 hours Bonham had consumed around 40 shots of 40% ABV vodka, after which he vomited and choked a condition known as pulmonary aspiration. The finding was accidental death. <laughs>